Martha drops an atomic bomb. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is turn 7 of Solo 1951. Turn 6 was quite the turn. Um, the Allies seem to be putting the screws to the Soviets in the in Europe. While in Asia, things are kind of coming to a stalemate. And the Russians, and then in Africa, the Russians seem to... The Russians may seem to have quite the outbreak, the breakout coming through. So going into purchases, Russia is buying a tech, a factory, 10 infantry, a tank, and three mech. China is buying a destroyer transport, an infantry, four airborne, two transports, and one mobile artillery. Russia is going to once again for heavy tanks they still don't get it boy the communist scientists have not been doing well this game all right so with that out of the way we'll get moving into the attacks all right going over attacks this turn not that many um, all the soviet forces in france are gonna turn east and head for southern germany the soviet forces in egypt they all are mechanized so they have blitz capabilities and are blitzing from Anglo, from Egypt to the Sudan to the Belgian Congo, making our way down to South Africa. China is going to attack northern Iran. The enemy base at um, Kiangxi, and the long-awaited uh, battle for Pacific Russia. Um, the combined Soviet and Chinese forces are going to try and see if they can't break through the American forces up north. So let's see here. Where do we want to start? I kind of want to wait for this battle. I want this to be the last battle. So why don't we start over in Europe? We'll go Europe to the Pacific this time. So we'll start with the battle in southern Germany, which, I mean... So it is going to be, nope, it's going to be this army versus a lone American, um, a lone American artillery. So let's see here. All right, so we have one infantry for one. We have an infantry and an artillery. And then we got four tanks. And we got it. And the American artillery will roll. And it misses. Okay, so the Soviets kill the American artillery and roll into southern Germany. Not that that is worth two IPC. And then we already counted this attack. So now we'll do the attack in Iran. That's an infantry and two tanks versus one defensive army. So the infantry and the two tanks. Hits. Iran. Oh, gosh, Iran hit. But China still takes northern Iran for one IPC. marker quick for that no uh, whoops oh, looks like China's starting to run out of markers I don't know if they're gonna have enough all right then we'll go over to the battle for Kiang C we'll get that also set up on the battle board the American carriers are not going to scramble their fighters this time have an anti-aircraft gun or the allies have an anti-aircraft gun and i think that was it oh no 
There was a fighter from, there was a jet from Peking that we're bringing into the fight too. Yeah. Get those cleared off quick. All right. First, the anti-aircraft guns. Whoops. All right, so jet one, jet two, dang it, and jet three. Okay. All right, so we've got one infantry for one, infantry artillery for two. Okay. And then four tanks. Nothing. And two jets for four. All right, that's all the Sato defenders. And they got three tanks for three. They got one of the infantry. All right, China will retake. We'll retake Kiang C for two. Well, the Allies held on longer in that area than I thought. Like I said, I was surprised last turn how um, how easy they were able to withstand that attack. Or at least how they basically threw that attack into a draw. So, then we round out the Communist turn with the battle up north. So, well, first we got to put the Chinese army back here. Throw an extra chip under the tank. And the two jets. So let's see, one, two, three. Um, we'll put the jets, yeah, we'll put the jets here. Okay, now for the final battle in the Soviet Far East, or in Kamchatka. Get the defenders out. Don't know how this is going to go. This might not be what I thought it was going to be. But we can always hope for a miracle. The communists can always hope for a miracle, I guess. We got the two army transports up to the side. That'll automatically die if it's taken. The anti-aircraft gun. Uh, mech infantry. In this game, if mech infantry, like um, mech infantry, if paired with a tank, will be able to attack on two. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven of the mech will get to hit. So let's see, that's two, five. Seven. And then there's a jet in the attack as well. Okay, now we gotta round out the anti-aircraft gun roll on the jet. Come on. <sighs> Boy, these anti-aircraft gun rolls have just been atrocious to the communists. All right, so they got one for one, miss. They got seven for two. Seven for three. Two, three. Pick that up later. And another two. All right. 
Okay, so the allies will shoot back with, let's see here, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine for two, two, four, roll five at a time, six for nine, <laughs> nothing, ooh, nothing, and then they got one, two, three, four, five for three, What do you say? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, yep, five. Oops. And then four for four. Ooh, that wasn't good. One, two, three, four. Whoa. Oops. Okay. Yeah, fix the battle board here quick. Sorry. Okay. All right. So let's see here. That's after one round of combat. So let's see here. What are we looking at for a. tactical situation here um, hmm. I honestly don't think I can attack as much as I want to attack this turn um, As much as I want to attack this turn, I don't think I can. So I'm going to pull back. I just don't think that's a strong enough force to match them. And, um... Yeah, I just don't think that's a strong enough force to match those guys. So... So, yeah. We're going to have to pull back for this turn. So we'll reset everything up here in the north. It was a good try. Um, or, yeah, no. I tried. It was like as much as I would have liked to have pressed it, I don't think we would have won. I think we would have done more damage, more damage to our cause than, um, would have needed. Okay, and the transport aircraft can go back. Okay, and then we can put, and then we'll put this army back on its army board over here for the first army. Had, I mean, had, had they not gotten four, had, had all the fours not hit, maybe I would have, would have, would have considered another attack, but just wasn't in the cards this turn. All right, so now we'll go into non-combat. Um, let's see here. So, starting in Europe, well, we'll start in Northern Europe. I think what we're going to do, we did some, talk, had some consultations. So what we're going to do is much as I don't want to do it, we're going to abandon um, Archangel, Leningrad, Archangel and Leningrad. The two, so the the two Russian fighters that are part, well, the Russian fighter that was part of this army and this fighter are going to come to Moscow because of radar. They can scramble up to two spaces. So we got that. Um, it's pretty much it for Europe down here in Africa. This is going to come because it wasn't part of action. It'll at least come and land in Sudan. The infantry is going to stay. The bomber is going to head up to Volgograd. 
Yes. We'll head up to Volvograd to defend there. Um, and Asia. That is pretty much it. I don't think there are any deployments I can make up here. Or any movements. No. There are no movements I can make up here right now. So, okay, we'll go to deployments. So we'll start with China. So there are two transports. Well, there are two transport aircraft and four airborne. Going to drop here in Peking. Oops. Their mech artillery is going to drop here. Their infantry is going to drop and infantry, which is going to drop in Malaya along with the along with the destroyer transport right here. Okay, and then in, and then for Russia, a miner is going to go in Egypt, and then they got come over and get proper so we will have three infantry in Romania three infantry in the Ukraine three infantry in Stalingrad an infantry in a tank in Moscow Oops. and then the Russians are going to drop three Mechanized infantry over here in Amur. All right, then at the end of the turn, the Chinese will collect 53 plus their war bonds. So 55 again, and Russia is going to collect 70. I mean, an okay turn if, if only we'd been able to smash that army up north. But I'm just kind of have to see how it all goes. Um, the Russians are on the ropes over here in Europe. Yeah, are on the rope over here in Europe. They're making some serious gains in Africa. And then uh, everything in Asia kind of seems to be pointing towards stalemate at the just for the short for the short moment. So um, until next time, guys, um, we'll. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys for Allies Turn 7.